Hello everyone, as you can read from the title, this is a first impression of Starclaw, Battle of the Star Space Nebula. Uh, I remember reading, uh, I forgot if a tweet or an article talking about uh, how the developer of this game filled out a DMCA to Google because someone made a review of this video. I will make sure to link the original review in the description and the apology that the developer issued to this person. Apology that I've seen referring to as a non-apology. I briefly read through it and people were arguing that it wasn't really heartfelt and... Anyway, this is the welcome screen you get the first time you boot the game. Ah, uh, okay, yes. <laughs> Click. Click, mouse click does nothing, enter does nothing, spacebar does nothing, okay, well, that, that's good, that's a good start for the game. A few minutes later. I don't seem to even be able to get to the menu to test the game and I cannot ask help on the forum cause I've just been banned cause I made a forum post asking why the developer cause the developer also let me try to quit the game. I was permanently banned because I made two forum posts, like one asking, hey, dude, um, I mean, the first one was like, hey, why isn't there any single topic talking about the DMCA notice you filled? I was asking why, and if it was allowed to discuss these things. Then I came back and I noticed that the topic was gone. And I've seen this warning to repeat offenders, because apparently I wasn't the first one who tried to open a topic to discuss the, to the topic. It's over and done. And well, Kyle, no, it's not over and done. I mean, it might be over and done between you two, but you're a representative of, well, not a corporation, but a small company. And you should let the people, well, you should, you, you don't have to, but it will be very nice and kind of you if you would let the people talk about your product and maybe even talk about the mistakes you made. I wish Total Biscuits was still around, because... I remember the first video of TB that I have ever, I've ever seen was the one about the Garris incident. The video really struck within myself because I'm so much like him. Like, I I'm not as well spoken as he was. I, we I honestly wish I could take on from where he left because, man, the video game industry misses people like him. Anyway, I'm digressing. Let's see the reply to, to your statement that uh, the reviewer made. This was the, the review, which I didn't read, but I will leave a link to the review down below. And to be honest, I don't even care much about what the review says, as long as it's not outright offensive and false. Anyway, I will read the review before publishing the video to make sure that doesn't say anything like the developer is a piece of something. I see that this review has been gaining traction due to how the developer handled the situation. Yes, since apologize on this website about how we reacted to the matter. I don't have experience in game development, but I do understand that game development isn't easy in the slightest. Even creating visuals and novels take work. I have given this game a second chance as version 1.0.2 and I still don't like the game, as I feel it doesn't accomplish even the basics, the basic point of what to make a scrolling shoot 'em up fun engaging to play. The developer is willing to fix the issues that plague the game, such as adding sound adjustment in the PES menu and fixing bugs. There is effort put into this game, even if it didn't result in a good product, and there are still many glitches in version 1.0.2 that either soft lock or hard block the game. My tone might sound harsh, but I do not regret anything that I've said in this review. I can be very critical of games and I tend to not sugarcoat my feelings on mechanics or design's choice, but I am critical because I care about video games and a lot and 
I care about video games a lot and I point out the things that the way I do because I sincerely want to see them be better. Sinoga slash Kyle, I hope this experience doesn't sour you on game development. I hope that you can use this as a learning experience as well and utilize this to make your next game. Max of the Silver Table and a better experience, even if you most likely want to see another review code from you again. He has been very nice. As a former game reviewer, I have to say, this is the way you should set yourself towards uh, the developer and the game. Because exactly how Pierre has said, um, game development isn't easy in the slightest. And I've tried it with uh, very hand-holding tools like RPG Maker. I know it's something hard. Even if you have a piece of software that allows you to draw things and uh, make them there. Let alone writing the code from scratch, like this guy probably did. Back to the game, what is it, a 20 and something. It's 17 euros, which is pretty much about 20 bucks. Something less than 20 dollars, but it's way too... If the game is only a 2D scroller, it's way too much. I can tell. I can tell and I will have to refund the game. Because there is no way to play this game. If you can't hear... I'm trying my best. But it just doesn't want to work. Whoa! My ears. So apparently, to get into the menu, you have to press, I don't know, F, G, D, D. So you get into D is the key to go forward. Well, nice. Let's try this game. So, uh, by starting a new game on the next screen, let's see that will be. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. One player. Why do I not hear any sound now that I lowered the volume? <laughs> I lowered the volume, which was deafening me, and I couldn't hear this. In a galaxy not far from Earth. Okay, now it says the key I have to press for whatever reason. It doesn't even say on the screen. How am I going to guess? I don't know, you know, just guess, Luca. That will be fine. Oh. Damn boy, I am back in 1994. <laughs> I really wish I could hear some sound. So I move with the arrows and uh, I have to spam D to so with spamming D makes me fire and I go forward with the messages pressing S okay cute artwork oh they only change colors I mean they're exactly one like the other um yes can I shoot stuff Ooh. Oh, man, man, is this a $20 game? Because spending like, what was it? Uh, three bucks more, I bought a Resident Evil 2 remake, which, I mean, might be a different game, but Kyle, you cannot ch charge 17 bucks for this. I mean, this is a 5 bucks at best. 5 bucks? Okay, I can give you 5 bucks. 
if I really want to support you, but 20? Ah, are you serious? Are you serious? I mean, I know it's a lot of work to write a game from scratch, but come on, you, you kind of have to be realistic. I know that it took you some time, quite a bit of time. Whoa, nice. So now I have two spaceships and for whatever reason I can go beneath the screen. Yahoo, I'm disappeared, but I'm still there. Where I am, I don't know. I'm off the screen. I mean, uh... whoa, whoa. Um, isn't there like health? What is the health? Is the gray thing on the screen the health? I should try crashing into something. So, I can, yeah, that is it. I can, um, I can not crash, but go over the, the enemies and they won't take damage, they won't explode, but, and the, the only thing that will hurt me are the projectiles. I, I really feel like stopping playing already. Really. It, it's seriously bad. So, so bad. And, like, I'm not saying that because... It really bugged me how I was... It's not because I was banned from the hub, like, I don't even care. But it, it's mostly, like... The silencing of voices and yes, what is this thing? Oh, I have to go up. Oh, okay. Like it's the wall wanting to silence uh, the argument and not wanting anybody to talk about the incident, which is exactly what. Uh, the developer of the Garry's incident has done to Total Biscuits. And of course I'm not Total Biscuits, and that guy who made the review, Pierre, isn't like a major reviewer as Total Biscuits was when, when he made the Gary incident video, yet it's the same concept and come on, you, you should... You should let people criticize you, whatever you do. I... And Kyle is American, like... American, for forgive me. He's from USA. Okay, so... His constitution... In his first amendment... Protects the right of free speech and... Mm, freedom of expression. And... Which is exactly what the reviewer was doing when he published the review of the game, which, then again, I didn't read, I will read, I'm very much sure, by the way, uh, everyone reacted, that um, didn't say anything controversial, and see, also seeing the, the final reply of the reviewer, it was kind of very polite, so I think that also the review, maybe it wasn't nice towards the game, Maybe he said that the game sucked and wasn't fun to play, which is completely true. Uh, I dare you to tell me that you had fun playing this game. Yeah, I mean, five minutes, no, no, no. I, I've seen, I mean, the controls uh, aren't, aren't okay. The, 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 the ship goes off the screen, I have to keep mashing the D button, and well, okay, let me keep mashing the D button, but I, I don't know. It, it's just, uh, I, I just don't like it. It might be just me, maybe you would like it, I don't know. I'd say that if Kyle put, uh, I will just call the developer Kyle, cause I know his, his name, maybe this gets to you. Maybe if you put up a demo, uh, people will play it, and maybe some will buy it, even for 20 bucks, I don't know. 
Uh, otherwise, I would strongly recommend you to lower the price to, I don't know, something like five bucks, because, because, yeah, I think that's more than enough for this game. There are games like this sold for 39 cents. There are. I'm sorry if this took you time and if I'm not easy on you, but uh, yeah, it, it, game development, it's not easy. And otherwise I would have already been starting developing games because I have lots of cool ideas, but it's so difficult. It's so difficult. I know. I know, Kyle. But that wasn't the way to react. And yeah, bad game. I mean, for a first project, it seems uh, it seems something okay. If I can tell you, put some effort. I, I really can. Um, I know how coding all this has to be, but you know, this is just spam of enemies and. Uh, it isn't challenging, it's just messy. At least it is for me. Maybe someone else will find it challenging, but... As you can see, my health on the left bar, I suppose it's the grey bar. Uh, my health is always at maximum, so it doesn't seem like all these enemies are doing that much to challenge me. On the other hand, uh, I struggle to hit them because um, the controls are, I don't know, it, it feels like um, the, the spaceship uh, is slippery. Um, Captain, I'm picking up a big signal ahead. Oh, this is a boss, I can tell what it is. Okay, whatever it is, pressure. no sweat, okay, okay. So, Mm -hmm. The two guys are just the same guy with different with a scarf. I mean, I, I can tell you drawn everything by yourself. But no, man, man, I I, I get it. Uh, I mean, well done, you. Woo -fo. Ah, yeah. What is this? I want it! Oh my god! Uh, I, I should try the S button, let me see. It doesn't work, the S. Oh my god. Ah, I will kill you! Ah, I mean, it could be fun. Then again, Alora, I mean, not my kind of game. Not at all. Too much button mashing and uh, controls are... Yeah. But, yeah. Kind of fun. If you enjoy this kind of games, I guess... It could be okay to kill an hour or so. Um, it makes me think... A game that seems on the same level is Lude Apocalypse which is like a parody of uh, Tomb Raider and uh, Resident Evil um, with some politically incorrect jokes. I really like that game. Um, and I picked it up for what? I don't know, I think one euro? Yeah, I think one euro. And uh, I think the full price is two euros or three. It's very cheap, extremely cheap. Like ludicrously cheap compared to this one. Kyle, no, no, it's not my game, it's just not fun. I will, I will never recommend this to anybody. Just, even if you forget the, the whole DMCA thing, I will never recommend this game to anyone. It, it's so... raw. As Pierre said, I can tell you made an effort, but... Uh, 
not burning enough. The boss just doesn't die. It just does not die. My shield, my front shield just does not expire. And my secondary ship just does not die. And I just do not die. I mean, it's a boss, but it's just tedious. It just feels like a chore to go back and forth. Um, and keep mashing that fire button. Whoa, I lost the front shield, finally. Let me see if I can kill this boss and I will just close the game and... and call it a thing. Man, I seriously wish I could have... I seriously wish you proved me wrong somehow and that the game wasn't uh, as bad as I briefly read about. Because I've just read about people saying that the game was bad and... Because... I didn't knew... I didn't even care. I was more interested in the drama. Dude. No. No. Just no. Can I die? It's hard even to die in this game. Because if you don't press any button, the spaceship will just fall out of the screen and I'm betting that if falls out of the screen. You don't even get... Oh, you do get net damaged! Wow! Okay, so if it falls too much off the screen, you... you lose a life, let me see. Yeah, you, lo you lose a life. Okay, that's the only way I can die. Cool. And... What about... Another thing is that there isn't even any sound. There isn't a single sound. Because for some reason, when I put the game in full screen... It just... Uh... It just doesn't work. It just does not work. Yet you can see that the volume is... Uh, is there. It should be there. And you heard some sound when I managed to, got, to get into the game. No, do not buy this game. Do not buy this game. Not at $20, not at 16 euros. Not at this price. Maybe if the game was five bucks and you felt like Kyle deserved, deserves a second chance, fine, get the game, five bucks. Five bucks, you're making a donation, okay. Twenty bucks, you really have to be in love with Kyle to give him this, um, this much money. Otherwise, we stay away from this. Damn! Sorry, but... No. Don't like it. I hope nobody is too upset with me. I know I'm harsh, as Pierre said in his final reply on his review. I really care for the video gaming industry, and I think it took a turn for the worse, especially on PC, especially on Steam, where 
everybody is allowed and I'm not making and I'm not referring specifically to star cloud, butter cloud or star space nebula. I'm talking generally where everybody can put their junk on Steam and sell it and maybe it's just a bunch of assets meshed together uh, at least at least to give the devil its due. At least this is a game that Kyle seems to have been have written by himself, and the assets are all new for what I can tell, and that's something to recognize. And and this is why I say that with for five bucks, I think it it could be it could be a fair pro well. I wouldn't think it could be a fair price, because if you go to see Leuda, Leuda, Leud, Apocalypse, yeah, it's hidden because I hide game with adult sexual themes. It's a stupid game, it has sexual themes, but... Um, but it's a fun game. Oh, okay, this is regardless animation. It, it's it's a cool game. I, I played 3.5 hours because I wanted to get all the achievements. And... Um, it, it's good looking. It is good looking. It's way better looking than Starship Star Cloud. Oops, we shouldn't have seen that. I will censor it in the video. <laughs> But yeah, it's good looking as you can see. Well, you don't have to see that. But this, uh, and I can tell, uh, it plays well. Uh, for for what it is, it plays well, and you can have fun. And like, I'm not telling you. Look at the reviews. Ninety five percent positive overall, and in the last thirty days, overwhelmingly positive. And even in all the reviews, it's ninety five, but it's it's there. It's there, it's just one, two reviews away from being overwhelmingly positive overall. So that tells you something. And how much is it? 99 cents. 99 euros compared to 16.79. I mean, what are we even talking about? I'm sorry, like... I hate to bash on people, and I know that I kind of can pass off as not nice. I hope you enjoyed the review, and uh, I hope Kyle will not be upset with me. And I made this video in good conscience, um, trying to remain as neutral as possible, even though the situation upset me. But uh, my, my first impression, because it's a first impression, even though I said review multiple times, my first impression on this game, and whether or not I would recommend it or not, uh, it doesn't depend at all by, by what happened. And Kyle, it's not a good idea to silence people who want to discuss uh, this issue on your form. You are free to do that, but uh, <sighs> as your best friend, mm, it's not a good idea. You're just going to worsen the situation because people are going to talk about this anyway. Uh, it will just be bad advertisement. And if anything, maybe you want some kind of weird adver advertisement you might want people to criticize you, but also try your best to say, hey, I did wrong, I knew I did wrong, but uh, from now on uh, I, I will try to do good. And that means I will let people talk and say whatever is their opinion about this world matter, but I will not ban them, and I will not, I will not silence them. Uh, unless, of course, they are being uh, outright disrespectful or rude. One final thing, I 
Of course, hope everybody enjoyed the video. I know I am verbose. Uh, <laughs> that's also why I said that uh, I'm kind of like TB, not as good as him. Oh, oh, how I wish I could be. How I wish could anybody could be. Oh, how I wish. How I wish anybody could be. And that we could all have TB back, because it has been a sad loss for our industry. And anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed the video and please if you did you know like share subscribe stuff um, criticism yes of course it's very much appreciated please don't tell me oh you suck or this or that I know that I didn't write any script I it just I made this video as it came out I added some little note here and there and I tried to edit out the all the silences and the um, mm, uh, mm. Uh, even though during the playtime I didn't because I tried to keep it as genuine as possible so yeah there's that thank you for watching if you made it to here uh, like share subscribe love you all good luck Kyle see you